Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Which is already alive, because this is Episode 2, right? <laughs> but now, we are going to be continuing with Episode 1 Racer, Star Wars Episode 1. And the famous pot racing that was actually introduced in that movie, which obviously was turned into a video game really shortly after. <laughs> it is time for us to actually continue with the third, and hopefully also the fourth, race in this um, amateur circuit that we're still in and we're going to be using one of the characters we did not use yet. I think Oot Bolt is going to be a good selection to go for the third race and we will actually take on the third track called Bido's Wild Ride. And not very surprising because of it being called Bido's Wild Ride, it is indeed Aldar Bido that is the track favorite here. <laughs> Let's go see if we can actually skate over the ice in a very fast way. Let's see if we're able to actually take a look at our vehicle upgrades. Let's go show how this actually looks. Something I was not able to do in the first episode. In this menu we are able to see all of our parts per statistics. We're able to see all of our parts and how much health they still have remaining. And also which of the statistics it actually um, involves. Like this PCX injector which actually increases our acceleration. The only new part that we actually bought so far. <laughs> all of the other parts are still the standard ones. And will automatically be equipped on every single machine, despite the one we actually pick. All of these parts will actually get damaged if you um, don't treat them well during the race. <laughs> but they are actually able to be uh, repaired by the pit droids. We also have got the pit droid management system in this game, as you can oh, see. Oh, you want to buy pit droid, huh? They help you fix your pod racer, you know. As you can see, we are able to buy these at um, the shop as well. Not even too expensive, I need to be honest. Only 1,000 credits per droid. But if you are the kind of racer who damages your vehicle a lot during races, especially in the later races, that's going to happen a lot. <laughs> it is definitely not a bad idea to have a couple of these as early as you can. So with that, we've got two pit droids now. We've got one by default, and now we've got a second one as well. We are going to be able to repair damaged parts the moment we have them. So far, my parts actually still look fine. But just remember, if you're noticing your pot racers getting damaged at some point, and you're not able to repair them quickly enough, <laughs> we can buy pit droids in order to repair our vehicle quicker. And of course, buying entirely new parts also helps keeping your pot racer healthy. <laughs> and that is something we are able to do at the junkyard as well. The shop is not the only place where we can actually uh, buy parts. However, the downside of the junkyard is we are able to um, buy parts at a lower price than normally in the shop, but you do have the risk of them being um, either very damaged or being very random. Here we don't have a real selection of uh, what we're going to get. <laughs> but here you can clearly see there's already a very powerful uh, part available here. Of course, despite this one being in discount, it is still a very powerful part and therefore still pretty expensive. <laughs> a lot more than we actually have. But you can also see this part is already partially damaged, so you're not buying uh, brand new parts if you actually buy in the junkyard. Just remember, it is a possibility. Usually I never buy parts in the junkyard, if I need to be honest. I'm the kind of guy who um, always wants to have my stuff new. <laughs> and pretty much unlocked at the point where we uh, are supposed to unlock parts. And therefore, I always buy them in the regular shop. We do have a little bit of credits now after beating the second race, so... <laughs> Probably the cooling, I think. Not able to actually increase that by a whole lot, but um, every little bit helps. Turning is also not too uh, amazing on this machine. Also pretty cheap, 500 truggets, or credits like I always call them. <laughs> and that way we can already make some awesome improvements on this uh, otherwise weak machine. <laughs> also able to afford myself the best repair kit that is available now. Something else? Something else? No, I'm running out of money. <laughs> but yeah, we did some very good improvements. Seeing how the statistics used to be, we did pretty well in the shop here. <laughs> now, let's go start earning some more money so we can buy more things. <laughs> Time for racing. This is still a racing game after all. Welcome, hard racing fans, to Ando Prime, home of the benevolent Andobi Bindu monks. Your host, the wisest of the wise, Ten Abu Donba. Yeah, even wise people want to race. <laughs> or at least want to watch the excitement. Welcome to Endoprim, which is going to be the snow slash ice world of the Star Wars Episode 1 racing circuit. 
current record holders for this track is... Albarbito! Three, two, one, let's go! Careful not to crash into the statue at the beginning of the race. <laughs> then it's time to swear at these guys. There's actually a taunt option in this game, and if you use that, even though it's a little bit difficult to actually hear it because of all the noise, <laughs> but you can actually uh, taunt your opponents. That will actually give you an achievement on the Xbox version as well, apparently. That is something we can do, at least. Oh, bridge. Help. Let's boost over it. Be careful with the sharp turn. Uh, needed to press the brake for the first time. <laughs> press the B button to brake. Whenever sharp turns are coming, definitely break, because otherwise you're going to crash into the wall. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did not expect a jump like that. <laughs> okay, these guys are going to stay behind me. This part's always so tricky. Very slippery over here. <laughs> oh. Boom. Nice long straight away, so let's just start boosting. If I'm able to. <laughs> there we go. Right, look at the radar. We've got a split pathway over here, so let's see if we can uh, go over all of these during the three laps. Pathway to the left. Not too sure which one is the fastest over here, but uh, <laughs> I'll just take all of them. This also looks tricky with these rocks. That way we actually reach the beginning of the track again. First lap complete. 143. We can do better. The first lap is usually the slowest of the three laps. But that's the one where the start also needs to happen. And therefore, <laughs> we actually lose a lot of time at the start. Because of already being at full speed on lap 3 and lap 2. Those are usually the laps where we're going to be able to set our lap records. Unless we crash a lot more into laps 2 and 3. <laughs> right, be careful for this section now. Remember to not boost here because we're going to jump in such a way that we're going to crash quite quickly. <laughs> oh! Ow! Oh, I've got damage on my upper part. Yellow, that actually means be careful. When it turns red, it's going to be broken. But we can actually use the bumper in order to repair our broken part. It will actually uh, make us slow down. As you can see, we were not able to um, keep up full speed the moment you are in repair mode. <laughs> but any broken part you can actually repair. And depending on how high your repair statistics are, that will actually determine how quickly you can do that. Do remember, you will actually lose speed the moment you uh, press the repair button. And you will also lose speed if you go off the main course. <laughs> Of course, riding across the snow will slow you down. That way, I think... Yeah, you're fine. First perfect lap on this track. We did crash in the first lap, but uh, this one was perfect. Able to improve our lap time by two whole seconds. Now let's see if we can do even better. Final chance for an even better lap. Let's go attack at 140. We should be able to go under 140 on this one. Boost on the bridge. Break for this turn. The first real tricky turn in this game. <laughs> the first one where the brake is definitely required for the vehicles that don't have a hold of turning. If you've got an extremely high turning statistic, you're able to take the turn without braking, but uh, <laughs> not with this machine. Not going to happen. Whoa, help. Was able to get away with it, luckily. So we don't have to repair our vehicle this time around. We're able to go full speed on this section. We should be able to win the time that we actually lost in the second lap here. Now let's go take the middle route. We went left in the first lap, right in the second. <laughs> now we're going through the middle. This will actually make us go through a cave. There's a lot of things we can crash into here, so be careful.
Need to stay focused here. I'm always scared whenever going through caves with a lot of things we can crash to. <laughs> a lot of pillars and stuff like that. But we are here. Awesome lap time. 1.33 on the final lap. <laughs> yeah, that definitely was a new lap record. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Man. Under 5 minutes. Pretty well raced. And of course, because of the track favorite being a character we did not have quite yet. We now do have him. <laughs> we unlock Aldar Bido. Let's put him on the list of characters we still need to use immediately. <laughs> he did still come in second place, but he was 20 seconds behind me. Not able to actually keep up with my experience in this game. And we can move on to the Aqualaris Classic. Track favorite, Clegg Holdfast. Having another new track favorite. Let's go see what we can actually buy first. Change your mind. Yeah, I indeed changed my mind. I first need to change my vehicle, of course. <laughs> I'm going to base the next thing I'm going to buy on the next machine I'm going to use. And that is going to be... Um, these guys we have not used yet. Looking at the stats, I think I'm going to go for Gascano. Let's see what we can improve. Only the best parts you find here in my shop, huh? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. <laughs> We're not able to improve the air brake. Not a new part actually unlocked after the previous race. So let's improve something else. You're gonna lose Traction, perhaps. You 350 for this new part. They come here. Oh wow, our top speed we can actually improve by a lot already at this point in the game. <laughs> it's probably going to be super expensive. Yeah, 5,000 is way too much. We can buy the one for 1,400. It will also improve it by quite a bit, so... I think I will do that instead. And it looks like that's all for now. Let's quickly see how it looks. No, wait, I need to go for vehicle upgrades, of course. Um... Yeah, only our turning part is damaged a little bit, but uh, I think it will survive. <laughs> Time for us to move on to the next new planet. Let's go start racing on an ocean world. Aqualaris. Looks awesome. Futuristic city in the middle of the ocean. Perfect place for high speed racing. It's a gorgeous evening here on the ocean world Aqualaris. The perfect setting for one of the most scenic pod races in the galaxy. Now, who's your host going to be this time? <laughs> your host, the lovely and gracious governess, the Nave Vengaris. So awesome that all of these high-ranked people are actually willing to finance all of these awesome races. <laughs> Where would we be without them? And look how popular we are. They're able to fill an entire stadium just for us. <laughs> the famous rider of the car race of Portway himself, Leg Hofax, is going to give the real thing a try today. Oh, oh, he can finish the race. I'm going to leave if you don't mind. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I'm too quick for you. I'm just going to try to survive this track. At this point in the game, the competition, the computer players are not really a threat. You might have noticed that already. <laughs> we'll be able to face more powerful computer players later on. But here in the early part of the game, they're definitely not able to keep up with me and my upgraded machine. Let's see how this ocean track actually works. A lot of parts going underwater. Some cool little tunnels we actually go through. But also some parts that are above ground, by the looks of it. The one very tricky spot on the races on this planet. It's actually coming up right now in this next tunnel. There are going to be a couple of doors that are going to be closing, so keep a close eye which tunnels open. <laughs> it's very easy to crash there, that part. There's no secret. It's even already present in this first race on this planet. Most of the races on this planet actually have that part of the track in it, so <laughs> we'll be meeting up with that quite a lot while going through this game. The rest of this track is quite easy. Oh, yeah. Um, I do need to make sure I let go of my accelerator in time. <laughs> like I explained last time, whenever boosting you will always crash immediately. 
it doesn't matter what you hit, you're always immediately crashed. <laughs> but whenever you think you're safe, boost all you want, to all your heart's content. Not over here, of course. Sharp turns coming up. Right, so that was the first lap. That is the first track of Aquilaris. Now let's see if we can do it again. We've got something to go for, but the first lap was not perfect, so... <laughs> it's definitely um, a challenge I'd like to go for in this game. On every single track, do at least one perfect lap. On these early tracks, it's not going to be too difficult, I presume, but... I know, later in the game, the most difficult tracks in the Galactic Path Racing Circuit, from where, for instance. But those tracks are going to be killing, so... <laughs> Being able to go for perfect laps on those ones is going to be very challenging. Still making it a fair challenge to go for. So far, we still don't have a perfect lap on this track either. Go right. And other tracks are going to go left over there. <laughs> Careful! Whoa, whoa! Almost crashed again. <laughs> but this time I was luckily not in a boost, so... Now I was actually able to take that hit. Boost on this straight away and then breaking time. Able to take this turn. Damaging the right part of my pot. Not sure if I'm able to repair that. It's still light yellow, like I always call it, light yellow. <laughs> no, it does not look like it. Only one becomes dark yellow, orange, or even worse, red. <laughs> Only then we're actually able to repair that part. It will then actually start turning blue the moment we press the right bumper. It does not seem to be doing that now, so this part is not able for repair quite yet. We need to damage it some more. <laughs> not planning on doing that, of course. Not damaging your parts at all. It's still the fastest way to race. <laughs> One last time in this tricky section with the doors. And... Yeah, there we go. It's able to get through there. Didn't even have to slow down. <laughs> Just blazed my way through. Let's go try. Boom. Whoa. It was a bit closer to the wall than I hoped it would be. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That is what I wanted to do in the first lap. But uh <laughs> This is how we do it. After three laps, I've learned how to do this track. <laughs> Final section, going left this time around. Oh, help. Completely ruined that turn. <laughs> Just try not to repair the damage. Keep on going. Oh. I could have actually um, finished this track in a better way. <laughs> but the ending left a sour aftertaste. Horrible left time there for 127. Let's not talk about that anymore. At least the second lap is still good. Let's bring in this new machine. That we're going to be able to put on the list for next time. Clegg Holdfast, the new unlocked character. Another 2200 credits earned. And then race 5 will actually unlock. Another new planet, we're going to go towards Malastare for that. Of course, we don't have the time to actually uh, go over that track, but we do have some time left, and therefore we are able to buy a couple of things. Buying a new droid, for instance. My turning part was not actually fully recovered after the last race, so I feel I have too few droids. <laughs> time to buy myself another one. And let's quickly go into the shop, and then we can actually call it an episode. Um, anything worth buying? We've got a new air brake available. It's probably not a bad idea to go for. However, I'm short a couple of uh, credits. <laughs> Let's buy something else then instead. Uh, repair parts, accelerate, top speed. Let's go for repair. And I think that will have to do for now. Also need to select a different machine for next time. So, <laughs> Yeah, I'll take a look at that in the next episode. Time is running out by the looks of it, We're approaching 20 minutes. I will take a look at which machine I will select next time. Thank you for watching the continuation of the amateur pot racing circuit. 
Hopefully I have proven that I'm not really an amateur because I've been uh, cleaning up the competition quite easily so far, but uh, <laughs> the true part of this game is yet to begin. Uh, this circuit we first need to complete before we go on to the next ones. Thank you all for watching. Next time, race 5, 6, and perhaps 7, depends on how long they will actually take. <laughs> Treaks out!